What's up, everyone? You're watching AnabolicMan.com's YouTube channel, uh, where we give you research-backed uh, advice on all sorts of things uh, in our masculine optimization pyramid, uh, from the range of supplements to physical training, uh, lifestyle techniques, and uh, micronutrients and nutrition. So today we're going to be talking about choline. Now, choline is, is one of those super nutrients that your brain needs heavily, and statistically, everyone is, is uh, massively undernourished when it comes to choline. Choline is, your brain heavily re requires and relies upon choline for neurotransmission. So in general, any kind of neurotransmission in the acetylcholine pathway is heavily uses choline. So the fact that we, we barely get any choline from our, our daily our diets these days, unless we're actively supplementing with it, or eating a lot of uh, some of the foods that I'm gonna talk about here in a minute. Also, a lot of people are on cholinergic drugs, and cholinergic drugs tend to usurp your brain's choline levels. Uh, they, they take the choline, as well as, and this is actually how I learned about the importance of choline, was back in college, uh, when, I, when I first started, I studied neuroscience, so obviously I studied a lot of neurotransmission and saw the importance of choline, but in a practical manner, when I started experimenting with nootropics, I really learned why you need to be supplementing with choline. If you're using any sort of a uh, substance or have a high stress lifestyle, anything that is going to be taking the choline from your brain, you need to be putting the choline back. Luckily, choline is extremely cheap. It's very inexpensive. It's very effective uh, for a lot of things from ranging from uh, like I said, neurotransmission, which w when you address choline levels in your body and you eliminate a choline deficiency, it, you will probably rather quickly get rid of any brain fog and irritability issues because uh, those are kind of the manifestations of it. If you have this constant brain fog and you don't really know why, it probably has to do with a choline deficiency or if you're irritable and, and just kind of will explode on people. Again, choline. Also, something that is interesting, I know a lot of guys are obviously, uh, for good reason, interested in libido and erectile dysfunction issues. The acetylcholine transmission, neurotransmission, directly impacts your libido and impacts nitric oxide production in your body. So when you correct a choline deficiency, if you correct it, you're going to see a lot of uh, good benefits that happen rather quickly. Like I said, including you know better focus, uh, getting rid of your brain fog, getting rid of any of that weird looming irritability where you just feel kind of on edge all the time or anxious, and then also uh, helping address any kind of underlying issue related to your libido or your erectile dysfunction. Now, choline is, it's actually grouped in the B vitamin family, and uh, it's long been used for, for tons of reasons, uh, specifically also getting rid of depression symptoms. So if you have a uh, depression, and that kind of ties in with what we were just talking about with irritability and brain fog and that sort of thing, lack of motivation. If you have these depression issues, choline has historically been used to alleviate those symptoms. Let's talk about choline. What, you know, what, what are the best places to get choline from? Uh, what are the best food sources? Now, uh, in terms of you know, protein-based food sources or fat-based food sources, uh, egg yolks are in eggs. That's typically the one that you're going to hear people talk about when, they, when it comes to choline. So egg yolks, if you consume them raw, it is best for the choline source so you don't denature anything. Uh, livers and kidneys, any kind of glands, really, you'll get a lot of good choline out of those. Also, um, veal, beef, chicken, fish, good, you know, obviously go for the best quality, salmon, that sort of thing. Those are good protein sources if you want to maximize the amount of choline in your diet. And when it comes to carbohydrates, Brussels sprouts have a lot of choline. Broccoli, spinach, bok choy, cauliflower, cabbage. And these are also all low calorie things that fill you up. They're kind of high density, low calorie. That's good. Also a tip with those, with the vegetables, if you, if you consume them with grass-fed ghee, I think that's how you pronounce that stuff. Ghee, G-H-E-E, -E, the fat source, it's like butter. Uh, it actually aids in the absorption of these nutrients, and so you'll be able to better absorb the choline that you consume. Uh, in terms of fats, like I said, ghee is good. Also, almond butter has a lot of choline in it. You can get some with olive oil, Greek yogurt, kefir, and raw milk are all great too. One tip though, when it comes to food, is that nuts, things like nuts typically will have 
anti-nutrients in them that will speed up the decrease in your choline absorption. It'll actually be worse for your choline absorption. So cutting back on the nuts, if you eat a ton of nuts, we don't generally advocate a lot of nut consumption on anabolic men anyway, so uh, that's pretty good. But yeah, if you want to avoid a choline deficiency, first off, uh, if you think you have one, you, you might be right in terms of if you have brain fog, if you're irritable, if you have trouble focusing, uh, if you have libido issues, and if you know that you also live a high stress lifestyle, maybe you commute all the time, uh, maybe you work you know, long, long hours using your brain uh, to think through a lot of complex issues, uh, maybe you don't get enough sleep. So if, if you have any of that kind of stuff going on, or if you take uh, cholinergic drugs, any kind of drugs, whether it's, whether it's a you know, a nootropic based uh, smart drug, like in, anything in the racetam family or a related family like Nupept is going to draw choline from your brain and should be supplemented with additional choline, as well as, you know, any kind of other things like amphetamines, any kind of like brain, heavy, heavily, heavy brain activated drugs, especially if you're on antidepressants, I definitely recommend taking a lot of choline. So you can get choline in a few different sources. Uh, choline by tartrate is what I recommend if you if you want to have the perfect medium of price, affordability, and effectiveness, choline by tartrate is it's a salt, choline salt, and this one, this so this one we sell on the Anabolic Man marketplace at store.anabolicman.com, and we actually have it in capsule form. I really wanted to get it in capsule form for for the marketplace because uh, traditionally I'd taken choline by tartrate in powder form, and it is uh, tastes very bad because it's a salt so it's a really sour pungent salt so it's a strong taste and it's definitely something you you don't really want to take every day unless it's in a capsule you can't taste it when it's in the capsules so choline by tartrate is one another um, high the higher end form of uh, choline that you'll see is oh, there's CDP choline or city choline and then you'll also see alpha GPC which is kind of a, a hybrid but it's it's basically a choline it's basically for you know, lack of a better term, it's a, a high high quality choline that you'd see in a lot of um, nootropics or nootropic blends like Alpha Brains. So that has uh, Alpha GPC in it, and they put they put the Alpha GPC or the choline by tartrate into these nootropic blends uh, for a reason because it's there to to make sure that your body is not usurping its its uh, own natural source of choline, and so you add it in so that. It acts synergistically in the blend. Hopefully you learned uh, enough today about choline. Uh, highly recommend using it. This is one of those just base, baseline nutrients that you should have in your diet, either if, if you're consuming a lot of, of the necessary foods that I listed off here, or uh, have a regular daily supplement. I actually personally supplement with one to two grams a day of choline, and I feel great when I do that. I feel like I have more energy and, and a clearer thought, better focus during the day. The minimum daily intake that's recommended for guys, for adult males, is uh, 550 milligrams. So that's about ha half a gram. You know, I, I go for generally one to two grams a day, uh, one, one gram a day minimum, because that I do a lot of mental work. I do a lot of work all day on the computer. So I find that it's good to have that little bit of extra bump and not just go for the minimum, but go, you know, twice as much. Uh, because choline is also one of those things. There's no toxicity level and, and generally everyone's very deficient in it. You can dose a lot of choline. So yeah, choline's awesome. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, press the, the thumbs up. If you like this channel, go ahead and hit subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Basically.